live, direct from locations at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and Cape Canaveral, Florida, a Russian-built Proton rocket is prepared for launch. Live. Welcome to the live launch broadcast of an international launch services proton rocket, which will carry the powerful W3A communications satellite into geosynchronous transfer orbit. This will be the seventh ILS launch for UTILSAT of Paris, France. I'm Kami Dearman reporting live from Cape Canaveral, Florida, where we are monitoring pre-launch activities of the Russian-built proton vehicle at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Minus 30 seconds. It's T minus 30 seconds to liftoff. Coming up on T minus 15, Mark. T minus 15 seconds to liftoff. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Engine sequence start. Liftoff. We have liftoff of a proton rocket from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan carrying the W3 spacecraft for Utilsat. This is the first leg of the mission to bring the latest in communications services linking customers across the continents of Europe and Africa. Begin roll control program at 10 seconds. We have liftoff. By now, the proton is pitching over into its desired uh, uh, flight path angle profile. We'll be coming up on maximum dynamic pressure in just a few moments. This is uh, T plus 60 seconds. We've just gone through maximum dynamic pressure. Everything was good. We have uh, 50 seconds in the flight. Looks like a Russian announcement to delay a little bit. Operating nominally. Everything seems to be operating nominally. We should right. now be at a velocity of 394 meters per second. Utilsat introduces W3A, the most powerful and sophisticated satellite ever built for Utilsat. The launch of this new satellite will enhance UTELSAT's 7 degrees east orbital position. Designed to operate up to 50 transponders, W3A will almost double our capacity available at 7 degrees east. In addition, W3A will be able to serve new markets and provide superior connectivity with other geographic regions. Thirty-five transponders in KU band will be available for Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. Up to twelve new high-power transponders in KU band will allow communications between Europe, the Middle East, and North Africa. Up to eight transponders will provide two-way communications between Europe and KA band, and Sub-Saharan Africa in KU band. Finally, up to three transponders will be available for regional telecommunications in sub-Saharan Africa. W3A will feature Skyplex, onboard multiplexing for video and data services, an application that has proved a great success on our hotbed satellites. W3A will have a twofold mission. For Europe, the satellite will ensure the continuity of services at 7 degrees east, 
a location already serving a blue chip client base, including the European Broadcasting Union, Reuters, Hughes Network Systems, and Volkswagen. This orbital position also serves a continuing success story for the Turkish market, with the Digitec Pay TV platform and super online for broadband internet. For Africa, W3A will provide a state-of-the-art satellite telecommunication structure. The satellite will introduce value-added services and bring new broadband capabilities to the African market. W3A, the multi-mission satellite. W3A, high power connectivity at the crossroads of Europe, Africa and the Middle East.